Shout out to my man Brandon Tatum and my man Amazing Lucas. Love both of them. They're like brothers to me. So whatever they got going on, I don't know nothing about. Hopefully everything is all good. Hopefully we have peace. Having said that, the Botham John situation, I did my video on it. I said that the verdict was correct. It was obviously an accident and everybody knows it. The family knows it. The judge knows it. People that were in the actual jury, they know it. Everybody knows it. It wasn't like she went there with the intention of killing that man. It's simple. So it was an accident. Was it reckless? Yes. Was it careless? Yes. That's why she's in jail right now. So the 10 year sentence was appropriate. Now, as far as the brother, I think his name is Brent John. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. The brother hugged um, Amber Geiger after the verdict, if I'm not mistaken. Now, he did that to free himself. I knew why he did it. He came out on Dr. Phil and said, I hugged her to free myself. I did not want to have that hate on my heart for my whole life. You, you see what I'm saying? Because that hate will eat you up. When you when you hugging this lady, it ain't for her. It ain't trying to please her. It's not it's not even about her. It's about yourself. You're trying to free yourself so you're not constantly bonded to that hate and to that negativity. It'll destroy you from the inside. People are walking around right now that have not let go of their hate and they hurt from their childhood and they can never get over it because they've never addressed it. You know, and you know, a lot of Christians are coming out and saying that was not a good thing to do. But my question to you is. Are you about that Christian life or not? Nah? Are you really a Christian? I can't tell because Christianity says forgive, right? It says forgive. That don't mean that you just say it's okay to do what you did. You know, if you do a thing that's negligent, that is something that is illegal or whatever the case may be, serve your time, do your time. There's no question about that. However, forgiveness is a core tenet in the Bible, if I'm not mistaken. If, if I'm preaching, let me know. If I'm just, if I'm being wrong, if I'm being incorrect, then you let me know. But that's a core tenet in the Bible. See, people that want to take Christianity and just spin it their own kind of way, that's kind of what turned me off when I was younger from Christianity. I feel like I'm more Christian than most Christians, and I don't even claim to be. But I don't curse, I don't drink, I don't smoke. I, you know, I'm a good dude. I, I, I'll give you whatever, you know. I think I live better than most Christians that claim to be Christian. And that's a shame. It shouldn't be like that. If you claim to be a certain thing, be about that. Be really about that. Don't be about it when it's easy to be about it. It's easy to be about that when you can just go out here, rally and protest with your fist up in the air with no kind of resistance, right? You could say, black lives matter, hands up, don't shoot. You could say, I'm being the Christian because I'm fighting for somebody. But when it comes time to really dig deep and forgive somebody that killed your family member, can you do it? Are you really about that Christian life or not? Nah? You tell me. That's all I want to know. I ain't judging nobody for what they do. I'm just saying, if you claim to be a certain thing, are you really about it? If you're not, that's okay. But don't judge others that are. Let them do what they do, especially when it's their family. Listen to this. We here did not lose anything. We did not lose our family member. It ain't our Dad, brother, uncle, cousin, friend that died. It's, it, it's not, he does not know us. His brother lost somebody. His father lost somebody. His mother lost somebody. His friends lost somebody. Not us. Who are we to tell the brother what he can do, what he can't do about his own grievance, about, about his own grief on the inside? Let that man do with it however kind of way he wants to do with it. If he wants to forgive her, fine. If he doesn't, fine. Whatever he wants to do, as long as he ain't doing nothing illegal, I have no problem with it. I can't judge that man because, like I said, I did not lose anybody. Even if he was my brother, my friend, or whatever, everybody deal with it differently. Let that man do with it how he wants to deal with it. And he's free. He won't have that hate in his heart. He won't have that judgment. He won't have that negative spirit following him everywhere he goes. He's able to move on with his life and be productive rather than constantly have that chip on the shoulder. People walking around right now with a chip on the shoulder. They can't get over a thing that happened in the past. That's pretty much what it is. Now, both of John's neighbor died. Uh, that was, you know, involved with the trial. But, I mean, the question is what happened? You know, because one thing I got to say is that people die every day. Black folks die every day, so what happened? 
you know, like, I want to know more information. The immediate judgment may be he was killed because he was a witness in the case. But why? I mean, is he dead or is he get, did he get shot? If he got shot and didn't die, then it is what it is. Hold on. Let me see. He's dead. But people die every day. I mean, you're in Dallas. People die. I mean, I want to know what actually happened. You know what I mean? Why did the person get shot and killed? Was it a random situation? A drive-by? Was was it, was it gang-related? What's going on? You know, some will make a video right now and say that he was killed because, you know, like Jeffrey Epstein. It's like, please, man, Jeffrey Epstein, really? Jeffrey Epstein, this dude has been a whole different level. Okay, Jeffrey Epstein is a guy that was a known pedophile and didn't go to jail the first time. Matter of fact, he went to jail but was allowed to stay out of jail for the whole day and fly all over the country. Who else could do that outside of a guy like Jeffrey Epstein? Then he finally gets locked up and there's all kinds of things that happened in the jail cell. Um, the cameras went out for like three hours. The guards went to bed at the same time and he's six foot tall. Kills him. The whole thing didn't make any sense and he had dirt on people that were very high level people in the world. You know, the, um, uh, the prince... Uh, the English, one of the English princes or something, um, prime minister of France. I mean, people that you, you can't get close to at all. You understand? People that when they fly into a country, the whole town shuts down, the whole city shuts down. So to compare Epstein to this guy, I think it's just kind of silly, honestly. It, it don't it don't make no sense. Prince Andrew, pardon me. That's right. Prince Andrew. Yep. So when you got dirt on a guy like Prince Andrew, maybe even um, who else, uh, Macron or other prime ministers, presidents, like several people, several big people that can do day to jackal and then erase you. You understand? Was that neighbor this kind of guy? I don't think so. When you start talking about people that's like high up like that, leaders in nations, princes, dukes and all this, Jamal Khashoggi is all I got to say. You know, that ice him in the, in the consulate. <laughs> like, it's not a game we're talking about the government, high-level people, elites. It's, it's not a game. Okay, you must want to get disappeared messing with them. But just a regular guy, I don't... I, I need to know more about what happened. Let me see. Rapper 10,000 says, the black community is still angry over the hug and the verdict. It's like the community does not have Christian value of forgiveness. We're not... Most of the black community is not Christian, although they claim to be. As simple as that. You know, you allow all kind of things happening in the church. Just like I, I was talking about, who was that guy? Um, Eddie Long. But was he the guy that died? Um, this dude molested a bunch of boys in the church and the men's youth ministry. Molested a bunch of them. People didn't want to believe him. Talking about you lying, trying to bring him down. I was that in the third. Like, man, all right. Like, come on. Let's forgive O.J. Simpson for what? I don't know Nicole Brown Simpson or Ron Goldman. So what, what am I forgiving them for? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what am I forgiving O.J. Simpson for? That, that's not my family that got killed. You know, O.J., everybody know O.J. did it. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about O.J. is that he got off. <laughs> that's that's a different story. See, the thing with uh, people are upset with uh, Amber Geiger, not Amber Geiger, but the brother, both of them, John, because he showed compassion in a situation for himself that appeared to be letting Amber Geiger off the hook. But Amber Geiger was going to jail. She did not get off the hook. She got punished. Okay, OJ, OJ did not go to jail. OJ just walked free. Killed two people, cold blood, and got off. All right? Then he gets arrested later for doing some dumb stuff. And of course, it's going to be a harsher penalty because people said he got off the first time. Think about it. If Amber Geiger killed this man recklessly and didn't get a jail time at all, and then 10 years later, she goes out and, you know, home invade somebody else and steal some stuff that she said that she had. Oh, they're going to they gonna, they gonna give her the rope because she evaded it just as the first time and then here we are again. You know what I mean? Like I said, that is that man's faith, Brent Jean. Now, if he had his faith and he was in a situation where he was able to convict her after she re, you know, re-offends after not getting sent to jail the first time, would he be forgiven like that? I don't know. Maybe he would. 
And that's not for everybody to even judge. The Goldman's didn't forgive OJ. Why are black folks only ones to to forgive their enemies? Well, I mean, that's their that's their choice. They can do that. Are they Christian? I don't think so. I mean, but even 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 if they are Christian, they can choose to do what they want to do. If they ain't want to forgive him, that's fine. But again, different situation. He did not go to jail at all. He got off. You see what I'm saying? So it's not even about forgiveness in that situation, really. It's about a miscarriage of justice. It's different. I mean, let's do better with your, with your, with your argument and your comparison. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're Jewish. So, I mean, I'm not sure what, you know, forgiveness is in the, in, in the Jewish faith. But even if they have the same faith as Christians, that's still their choice to do what they're going to do regardless of what. I'm not judging them for not forgiving them or for forgiving them. Black folks don't be forgiven. Forgiving who? If black folks were if black folks were so forgiving, then why is the black on black murder rate so high? Why are we 48% of the victims, 52% of the murderers, but yet 13% of the population? You would get murdered in the black community for something else, some of them might choose. If you got some Stacey Adams on and you step on them, and you might get murdered for that. You might get killed for um, trying to talk to somebody's girlfriend. You, you get killed over nothing in the black community. Forgiveness, where? <laughs> forgiving your enemies. Well, why you still got game wars going on? Bloods, Crips, GDs, VLs, forgiving your enemies? I can't tell. I cannot tell. Forgiving your enemies. Come on, man. Like, what are we even talking about? I'm getting worked up. Yeah, wearing the wrong color rag. You in the wrong hood, cuz. Take that off. You get you get murdered. Like Nipsey Hussle, prime example. Nipsey Hussle didn't even do anything. Like Nipsey Hussle said, okay, you a snitch. For calling him a snitch, he got murdered. Not only did he die, his man almost got killed too. He was just an a, a innocent bystander. Didn't even do anything. Come on, man. Like, let's, we, we gotta, one thing we gotta do is just live in reality. We can't live in the fantasy world anymore because people are waking up they're starting to see what's going on. The the fantasy stuff is not working anymore. You gotta go back to reality.